Jeff, thanks for the time, man. Exciting stuff in the ninth inning yesterday. When you uh, when you kept going uh, on that on that play at first base on the right side of the infield, was that all you, or were you picking up a, a sign from your third base coach? Oh uh, yeah, that was all me. Um, I knew. I mean, I knew I was scoring on just about anything, and you know, as soon as I hit, I saw uh, Dom hit that ball down the line. Uh, Goldie made a you know heck of a play of it. I saw uh, the pitcher not get off the mound very well, so I knew it was going to be. Uh, pretty close to first base, and you know, as soon as I hit third, I turned the head in, and um, you know, saw uh, you know he kind of hesitated a little bit, um, you know, waiting for the call, and I decided to keep going, and uh, ended up scoring. Way to go, man! It was a fun moment. Uh, so you know, hey, look, when you win 13 of your first 18 games, it's obvious that things are going well, that you're having fun. But when Mets fans say this is sustainable, it starts with Buck Showalter, and it goes all throughout the roster. Tell us how, from a player standpoint, how do things feel for you guys to start the year? Uh, things are fantastic. Um, you know, everything's uh, going great right now. Um, you know, we're playing some good baseball. I think everything's clicking. I think, uh, you know, past years, you know, we've, you know, had some stretches where, you know, just hitting was clicking, pitching was, uh, wasn't, and then pitching was clicking, hitting wasn't. I think everything is going well right now. And, um, you know, we're going to you know, do our best to, uh, you know, maintain this throughout the year and keep playing good baseball. Have you had experiences with your manager, with Buck, uh, the way the rest of us in baseball have? And that is to say, have you ever asked Buck a question and then have him say something completely different than what you asked him, but have it be okay anyway? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, you know, he's definitely fun to talk to. Uh, you know, we've learned a, a lot of, uh, you know, great things from him. You know, I, I don't know if... Uh, that, that play the other day with, uh, you know, the appeal and, um, you know, the rules kind of stuff. And, you know, we're just we're learning a lot from him. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to you know have him as a manager. Let's talk a little bit about your game. Uh, I've always enjoyed watching you play because you're an emotional dude. You, high highs. Uh, sometimes those frustration moments are, are, are kind of entertaining, too. Don't mean to say that at your expense, but you've been known to, to snap every once in a while. Um, you know, tell us about that. Or have, has anybody ever gotten in your ear and said, "Hey, Jeff, we need you to, to kind of even it out"? Or are people comfortable letting you play with your hair on fire like you do? Um, I think I play best with my hair on fire. Uh, you know, I think people know I'm an emotional guy. I do get real high. I do get real low. Um, you know, this year's uh, it's been tons of highs, which which is awesome. You know, I'm trying to. Uh, you know, kind of restrain myself a little bit. You know, I, I know uh, it's not good for me. You know, it's not good for, you know, some of the people around me at times. But, uh, you know, I'm a fiery guy. Uh, I play, you know, with a lot of heart, a lot of passion. And, uh, you know, it's tough to, you know, take that away from me. I think in, uh, you know, the past few years, you know, I think I kind of, um, you know, kind of got away from it a little bit. Like I kind of, you know, was just kind of sitting in the dugout, you know, by myself and, you know, just trying to maybe holding it in a little bit. Um, you know, I think it needs to come out at times for me just to kind of, you know, release, you know, bad at bats, uh, you know, bad moments and, you know, just get me back to myself. So, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, it really drives me as a player. Yeah, man. Let it eat. We, we love it, dude. Uh, but <laughs> let me ask you this, because you're a guy with a real golf game, uh, more emotional playing baseball or golf. Like, do you do you break oh. bats as regularly as you do drivers? <laughs> No, it's uh, no. People think I'm a, a psycho on the golf course because they 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 see me on the baseball field. Like you got to be throwing clubs, you got to be breaking stuff. And you know, golf right now. You know, when I was younger, I, I was I was pretty fiery. You know, high school golf, I, I was kind of like that. But um, now it's my escape. It's my getaway. It's uh, you know, my my relaxation time. You know, just to kind of get away from baseball. So you know, I enjoy uh, you know, just being out there now. I'm usually extremely extremely calm on the golf course, and uh, you know, like to have some fun out there. So uh, you know, kind of two completely different people. Here's here's a trick question for you because I'm sure both of them are great. What is a more satisfying afternoon for Jeff McNeil <laughs> on a non-game day, playing around a golf or a perfectly grilled steak? Oh, playing around a golf. I got I got to be on the golf course on a, on an off day. So usually it's wake up early, uh, get on the golf course, and then uh, you know have a nice dinner. So you know a little bit of both. All right, let's hit you with some food questions because we just saw the image of you grilling the steak. Um, you want to play a little rapid fire here because we just have food stuff on the on the hopper for you. All right, let's here do we it. go. Uh, steak or lobster? Lobster. Oh, you've already surprised us. Favorite yeah, New York sure. City slice of pizza? Uh, I got to go with my my local uh, Long Island City. Uh, it's called Slice. Okay. Uh, it's my local uh, pizza joint there. Got it. Uh, best dish that you cook yourself? 
Oh man, I'm a terrible cook. Um, wife does most of the cooking, but uh, you know, I, I would say probably a, a nice tri-tip. I, I can cook a pretty good tri-tip, so. Okay, uh, uh, two more. Shake Shack burger or ballpark hot dog? The hot ballpark hot dog. Mm, <laughs> man, you've surprised us I, on all I, these I, things. I, 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 uh, I like hot dogs. Okay. They're good. Uh, <laughs> City Field not included here, so excluding your home ballpark, where is the best pregame spread in the big leagues? Ooh, best pregame spread. Uh, Dodgers had a pretty good one one year. I think they uh, they were making some tacos for us. Uh, that was pretty solid. You can't beat a, you know, L.A. Uh, taco. Uh, California, just Mexican food in general, or Yankee Stadium is pretty solid too. The options there, you can't beat those. Fair. I think we have images actually of the. Uh, is that my phone? Yeah, sorry, man. Uh, <laughs> we have images of Tommy Lasorda hitting the spread, actually, that taco spread. So we'll get that cleared too. Hey, Jeff, we appreciate the time, man. Way to go. Keep swinging it. I know you're having a lot of fun with this start of the season, and and thanks for taking some time with us. All right. Thanks for having me, guys.